The number one pro tip to help you get better at Call of Duty is looking at your minimap. And in today's video, we're going to go over the three things that you're looking for on your minimap to help you get more kills and wins. What's going on, everyone? It's Elias. I've been a full time Call of Duty coach for the last two years. And what do you guys think of the Modern Warfare 3 beta? I'm really looking forward to it. And uh, let's get right into the video. All right. The first important thing about looking at this minimap is you actually have to look at it. So I'll tell you right now, I look at my minimap every second I am not in a gunfight. So just to prove it right now, let's all look at Shotzi's eyes and see how often does he look at his minimap in the top left. So for the next 20 seconds, let's count down how many times does Shotzi look at his minimap. One, two, three, four, five. All right, the 20 seconds are up, and I counted that Shotzi looked at his minimap 10 times. That means he looks at his minimap every two seconds. And the reason why that is so important is because information is key. So a very important thing about these red dots is not only do you see them once the enemies shoot, but you can also see if they are on a lower elevation or on a higher elevation. Right now, this opponent is at a lower elevation compared to Shotzi because he has a red arrow under his red dot. If this enemy was at a higher elevation, his arrow would then be right above the red dot. And as we press play, we can easily see how perfectly Shotzi just turns, centers onto him, and gets the kill. The second most important thing about looking at the minimap is when you look at the minimap, you can do process of elimination to figure out where the other enemies are. So if I quickly just create a quadrant, Right now on this quadrant, I see that I have teammates over here. I have teammates over here, which means that there should not be any enemies over here because my teammates are there. But if you look at the empty areas on the map, that's where enemies are going to be. So right now it looks like there's going to be enemies over here that spawn over there. And then of course there's probably going to be also enemies that are spawning over here. Um, and now Shotzi is just positioning himself where he only has to worry about is what's in front of him, which makes the gameplay drastically easier. And as we press play, we're going to see him just focus on what's in front of him. He calls in the UAV and then voila, all the enemies just pop up right in front of them in this empty area. The last thing you want to look for on your mini map that will help you is looking for plays that you can make. So right now, obviously we have Shotzi looking at his minimap, trying to decide what type of play should he make because we do have an enemy on the exact same level as him. And we also have another enemy going up the staircase about to attack Shotzi as well. Uh, not only that, but because Shotzi killed two of these enemies and Shotzi is on hard point, both of these enemies know that Shotzi is here. So Shotzi is going to have to think of either fighting these guys head on or trying to escape out. Of course, there is also another enemy over here. So right now, Shotzi knows where there's three enemies are at, and we're probably gonna see Shotzi try to go for a challenge, see if these enemies are gonna push him. And once Shotzi sees that they're not pushing him, he's gonna go ahead, jump out, play for this kill over here, and then we're gonna see him go for a full flank. And the reason why he's gonna go for a full flank is because if you go back to creating the quadrants, right now we have a teammate over here, we have a teammate over here, and we also have a teammate over here. It, it, you, it's a little hard to see him. Uh, but basically right now with all of our teammates being right here, it shows that the enemies are actually going to be spawning in this quadrant. So Shotzi is going to be able to flank all of those spawners and ideally get a nasty piece. So let's go ahead, press play and watch it play out. He looks to see if these guys push him. They don't push him. He drops down. He's going to go ahead and get battle rage and everything right here. And then of course the UAV pops and you do see all three of these enemies right here. What shots he's going to do is he's going to pop battle rage and then he's just going to go for this flank and he will end up getting at least one kill. Uh, but I do think he dies right after that. So the number one pro tip to help you get better at Call of Duty is by looking at your mini map and the three things that you're looking for in your mini map. So the first thing that you're looking for is actually look at your mini map every two seconds so you can see where red dots are. Are they below you? Are they above you? The second thing that you're looking for at your mini map is process elimination and figuring out where the enemies are. That's where you can create the quadrants and just say, oh, empty quadrant. That's where the enemies are. And the third and final thing is when you look at your mini map and you get an idea of where all your teammates are and where all the enemies are, you're going to be able to make a play for yourself. I hope this video was helpful. If any of you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask me and I'm always happy to help. Other than that, 
Let's get better every day and peace.